San Diego, for some California's southernmost city, for others the northernmost city in Mexico. This city is not quite as predictable as other US metropolises, and even the skyline promises something different. San Diego is a coastal city that enjoys beautiful weather, clean air with little humidity, and a gentle breeze. Here, water sports are part of daily life. Overshadowed by both Los Angeles and San Francisco for many years, this border city was relatively isolated. San Diego Bay was discovered by Portuguese seamen in 1542. But it was not until 200 years later, in 1769, that led by Gaspar de Portola, the first settlers established a colony of Franciscan monks. On the other side of San Diego Bay, Coronado, the wealthy area of the city, can be reached by ferry or by car over a long and winding bridge. The architectural splendor of this building shows that we are in a land of endless opportunity. Palm trees, colorful flower beds, and wonderful sandy beaches are typical of Southern California and are an open invitation to surfing and relaxation. The exclusivity of the beaches exudes an aura of luxurious living, and the grand houses of this district are among the city's most prestigious. As though in a picture book, beautiful houses adorn the streets, and the well-ordered gardens in front of each residence radiate success and a prosperous lifestyle. Point Loma lies at the southern point of a 10-kilometer long peninsula and shelters San Diego Bay like a protective arm. The main section belongs to the US Navy that has a naval base there. A lighthouse serves to warn ships of the nearby coastline. In 1883, a reservoir was constructed here to supply the bay's inhabitants with precious drinking water. A monument commemorates the Portuguese seafarer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, who in 1542 was the first European to set foot here. The conqueror took a dislike to this land and sailed further on. On North Harbour Drive, an old trading ship lies at anchor, the Star of India. Now fully restored, the ship is open to the public.
Its huge sails stimulate a sense of adventure and fanciful images of its numerous ocean-going exploits around the world. In this colourful, seafaring city, ships are a part of the daily scene. The long-distance trains that travel through Amtrak station connect San Diego with many other Californian cities and also with the bordering city of Santa Fe. The red tram, known as the San Diego Trolley, leaves from here and travels south to the Mexican border. Adjacent to a modern apartment block, the station's small ticket office has the appearance of a typical Mexican-style building. And everywhere blossoming flowers and spouting fountains. The magnificence of this colourful garden city makes it easy to forget the arid terrain of the nearby desert. Seaport Village was an important Dockland area that has now been transformed into a maritime entertainment centre. While visiting the city's main shops and galleries, Mexican hacienda-style restaurants entice exhausted shoppers with an excellent selection of food and drink. Less flamboyant restaurants are also available and are a welcome place to eat and drink in a pleasant atmosphere. Here, everyone is treated to a warm welcome. Ideally, a whole day should be set aside for a visit to Balboa Park that is situated northeast of downtown. In 1868, 500 hectares of land were allocated to this park and in 1915 it was the setting for the Panama California Exhibition. The exhibition featured a fantasy city that was a mix of Spanish, Mexican and Asian architecture. The park followed the same theme and today it's the perfect setting for 13 museums that are located here. The Natural History Museum is also a popular attraction as it contains the models of the dinosaurs that were used in the movie Jurassic Park.
The impressive focal point of this fascinating park is this huge well with its towering water fountains. In Balboa Park's various museums, there's an interesting variety of exhibitions and themes. One example is the Aerospace Museum that features man's first attempt at flight in an impressive display that includes a collection of original designs. Early aircraft are also on display, as well as a large collection of flying machines that chart the development of flight. As times of war have always acted as a catalyst for aircraft design, the museum also features aircraft that date from the First World War. San Diego has a special association with the development of international air traffic and pays homage to its most famous pilot, Charles Lindbergh. The museum provides a unique view of helicopters with slow-moving rotor blades standing alongside contemporary war machines. Six kilometers north of downtown is Old Town. Here one can admire some of the city's oldest buildings. There are recollections of the city's original inhabitants and some of their dwellings are also on view. At the beginning of the 19th century, this building had been erected close to the mission. As all the original furnishings are on display, it's easy to imagine the lifestyle of the early inhabitants. San Diego's first public school is open to the public. This schoolhouse first opened its doors in 1865 and even today children are educated here. In former times, the function of dentist and doctor was carried out by the same person. Early medical equipment can be viewed at close quarters. This shopping street is as it was in bygone times. Apart from its stock of goods and modern cash desks,
the latest fashions have always been popular. Thus, there's a fashion boutique on the old city square that also contains a fountain. Of course, there's the obligatory number of souvenir emporia, an abundance of intriguing gifts to tempt all tastes. Some of the shops feature products made with old recipes and original equipment. In this case, candy. For more than a century, the inhabitants of Old Town lived a contented and peaceful existence. But later, the city centre developed closer to the sea. Chinese artists abound. Stylishly drawn names satisfy any request. Old Town is a successful combination of both history and tourism. The San Diego Zoo is world famous. Pink flamingos, sleeping on one leg only, greet the zoo's many visitors. And a large parrot nibbles at a piece of reed. From a large open top double-decker bus, visitors are treated to a good view of the animals in their living quarters. Giraffes eat the leaves from acacia trees and are not phased by curious onlookers. A rhinoceros nonchalantly displays its hind quarters. The North American black bear is always on the move. It prowls the terrain and makes it totally clear who's boss. And the African elephant is equally at home in the heat and dust of the zoo. A small pond appears as it would in the wild. Few zoos contain more than 800 wildlife species and there are 4,000 animals to be found here. The animals, artificially created living spaces, are quite extraordinary. The gorillas and their offspring are a major attraction. In the realistic rainforest, the apes are in a playful mood. Through thick glass walls, crocodiles can be observed from beneath the water. 
In spite of the heat, polar bears splash around and play ball in their ice-cool pool. For its animals, the zoo's 52 hectares are an artificial paradise. There's another attraction that features water and animals, SeaWorld. Again, visitors are welcomed by a group of serene flamingos. SeaWorld contains many amusements, like a wild water drive in a circular rubber boat. But the highlight of the show is the performance of the orcas, who go about their tricks several times a day in front of 5,000 visitors. The white whale swims elegantly in a massive pool. The harmonious movements of these sea mammals can be observed through large glass windows. And then, of course, there are the sharks. With their strong jaws and underwater antics, a majestic hunter. The tranquility of the underwater world can also be enjoyed here. Various exotic fish have found a good home in the sanctuary of Sea World. Many varieties of animals that would otherwise be threatened with extinction are secure here due to the mild climate and almost natural living conditions. The California Temple is owned by the Mormons a religious group with more than 9 million members and missionaries that work in all corners of the globe. In 1823, a prophet appeared to the founder of the Mormon religion, Joseph Smith, who subsequently created the Book of Mormon that was later used as the basis for the religion. Here, the American way of life is flavored with the lifestyle of Mexico. Each year, this irresistible melting pot attracts tourists from around the world. With its many attractions and close proximity to Mexico, San Diego is an unforgettable city. A very special kind of tourist metropolis.